What a beautiful night for baseball in Northwest Arkansas. Bomb Stadium in Fayetteville is the site of an SEC Western Division matchup between the seventh-ranked Arkansas Razorbacks and the Alabama Crimson Left Tide. Hander, Casey Murphy. Well, Casey Murphy is a guy who's pitched absolutely dynamite this season. He's Deep towards right. Cole turns around, looks up, and it's gone. A leadoff home run. Two strike pitch. Murphy went a little further off the corner and Avan yeah, chased. On the mound. Yeah, he's going nowhere. That ball hit into right center field. Fletcher's not going to get this one. Takes a bounce and drops in front of him. Murphy a second strike out of the inning. Trying to fight his way through this first. Strikes out three around a homer, a walk and a single. 30 pitch first, but Murphy limits the damage. He'll take the walk, so a nice long plate appearance, and he's on base. Smoked him off, that's a base hit. Kerstad will turn third and tie the game on the Bonfield RBI base hit. The irony is, the one day they ended up with a Monday practice they weren't supposed to. It was before the ULM game. Holcomb up there, first pitch hacking, and Murphy will gladly take that one pitch one out to start the second after a 30 pitch first inning. Murphy just cruised through the second with two more strikeouts. Five. Up the middle and through for a base hit. Had a real nice stretch. McFarland is running. Jacks will swing and miss. The throw is going to be in time. Basketball program with Avery Johnson on the rise. Softball's always good. That ball sent out to Kerstad. I don't know if he sees it. It doesn't matter. It drops in front of him. Taylor with a single. Another payoff pitch. Murphy wins the battle. And Taylor wasn't running. Strikeout number six. Even though he was due to start today. Running is Taylor. Doesn't matter. So we're going to miss that seven Ks for Murphy. So he fought his way through another frame. Even as coach Bohannon said he's had four outstanding outings, he scuffled in three or four. Holcomb back to the fence. He records all three outs this inning. Each other in the year. Murphy keeping each other up. Ten strikeouts for Murphy, though, through four innings. And after that leadoff walk, he K's three straight. Sit down eight in a row. Up the middle and through, and McFarland has a pair of hits. He has two of the three for the Hogs. Jordan's got his mother in a tennis this weekend. And mom, <laughs> mom was pointing out it's been a while since he's had a few base hits. Well, not tonight. We go to third base. McFarland is running. This ball might drop. McFarland doesn't read it. He better get to second. And Biggers with the blue pit. That ball just swung on and missed. Here comes McFarland, and finally a foul ball is called. David Savage has to be quicker on that call. Here comes Dave Van Horn. He's probably saying the same thing. Was that a foul ball? If it is, you've got to call it. Put Kenley at first. Was no, that catcher's yeah, interference? Catcher's interference. I, I heard a swing, and it sounded like Well, it, there was a thud. Yeah, a thud. And the reason why it was catcher's interference, this is not on Prater. Kenley swung so late. Deep breath from Walters in the pitch. Lifted high and deep to left center field. Bros underneath it, and this will score a run. Although the throw goes to third base, and in there is bigger. Sack fly, scores McFarland. It's a 2-1 game. Crimson Tide to get out of this one. Another payoff pitch. Should end the inning. Avant going out there. This is more of a center fielder's play. And a stumble from Bro, and he lost his hat, but he caught the ball. Hawks leave three more men on base, but they have the first lead of the night. The flip side has been some deep counts. 11 Ks. Kerstad has the beat on that ball. Back into the gap. Does he have room? No. And a home run has tied the game from Prater. Just his second of the season. Rip to right. Cold on the move. This one has a chance to leave the building. Goodbye, and it's 3-2. Crimson tied. Joe Bro came into the series. He didn't have a home run. He's gone yard back-to-back -back night. They need 
need Evan Lee. Arkansas does. Needs Evan Lee to come in there and quiet these Crimson Tide bats. Back to a breaking ball. Malkin rung up. So Lee, the first batter he faces. Better get there in a hurry. Biggers throwing in one motion. He got Holcomb at first base. Holcomb hands on his helmet, doesn't care for that call. Come on, got a strikeout and a soft ground out. And maybe another ground out. McFarland will get there, and he is just going to put the tag on Manning to end the inning. It was a hit in the count, 3-0. and Ended up flying out. Bonfield strokes one to left. That's the second hit for Luke in the game. A couple of singles up the middle. He scored a run. Easy double play bouncer. Six, four, maybe not. McFarland sprinting up the line, beat it out. Misfired on three straight. Make it four. So the inability to get the double play, and then Biggers draws the walk, and the Hawks have the tying run in scoring position. Well, I think Ball four. Hawks had him loaded last inning. Guffey got out of it. Now he has loaded him up here in the six on catcher's interference last inning. Smoke past Coach Perry. Her Another foul ball. Big portion of this game. Their spirits have been lifted with each increasing pitch. This will be the ninth. In the air to center, will it fall? Yes! And it's going to score two, and Jack Henley delivers. And Arkansas has a 4-3 lead. And the longer that sequence lasted, the more you thought Kenley might just find some green grass. I wouldn't be stunned if he swings 3-0. Doesn't matter. Ball four. Base is loaded again. And a run is walked in. I don't get that, Troy. I know you don't want to give one up, but you have no choice. You have to pitch to him. Yeah. He that ball smoked the right for a base hit. It'll score a run. Pulse being waved in. The throw is on line, and Cole is out. Good play by Prater on a throw from Taylor. And the Hogs have to settle for four runs. Luke got the first RBI for Arkansas on the first. He swings, drives one high in the air, deep left field, way out of here. No doubter for Bonfield. For Bonfield, that's why you don't right there. You can see Dave Van Horn's reaction right there. He just said go. You can see him yelling at it as that ball was juiced. Well into the hog. Putting this one, Cody Scroggins comes on here at the top of the eighth inning. Scroggins was recruited by Dave Van Horn as a shortstop. He figured out that he was an average hitter with a really strong so arm. With five plus, Lee two innings. That is the 13th strikeout for the Crimson Tide hitters, and Avent not a bit pleased. Just set up the potential for another strikeout. 41. Bro earns the walk. Kenley was guarding the line, so that's an easy base hit. Here we go, a couple of two-out base runners. Barrett Lowski comes on out of the bullpen. Fourth pitcher, Arkansas, is used in the game. Well, Lowski was outstanding on Tuesday. See his numbers right there. He's pitched very well as of late. That ERA is a little bit inflated. That started from the beginning of the season. A couple of quick case to start this hitting before a walk and a single. One big swing would make this a one-run game, and this is trouble. Kerstad will not get there, a base hit. It's a 7-4 contest, and the tying run will come to the plate. See ya. And he gets the K to end the inning. Alabama gets a run, but we go to the bottom of the eighth, 7-4, Hogs. Kenley sends one to right field, cut off by Avent, but no one to throw to. Kenley had six hits on the season. He's had two in back-to-back at-bats.
can't walk people. No. Can the Hawks get two? There's one, two, scoop by McFarlane. That ball came up on Biggers. Almost kind of 80 buff. Popped up about waist high. Watch this ball pop up on Biggers right there. He comes up with a good feed, strong arm by Martin, and a great pick at first by McFarlane. Third. Let's score this baseball. They get the save. Ball game. And the Hawks win it 7 to 4. Mosky the save. Another good win for Arkansas again. Not the prettiest play game tonight, but a team that just relied on that offense to come back and some big strikeouts. Big strikeout night for the pitching staff.